now let me explain about uh, GRI clearing account in detail really in perform good receipt when we wanted to perform good receipt the system asked us to create a GRI clearing account in the OBIC automatic key WRX right here in OBIC WRX okay some of y'all might be wondering why we need a uh, GRIR clearing account because when I go to the Metea document that we created the correct accounting posting that should, should have been posted is credit vendor and debit stock ok some of y'all who knows accounting in detail you might be wondering why in this line here the vendor account is not mentioned because when we receive goods from the vendors the vendor account should be credited and the stock should be debited but instead of that GRIR clearing account is credited so what is the role of a GRIR account and why is it used instead of a vendor account I'm going to explain that to you now okay let's look at this diagram here we order goods using purchase order and the vendor supplies the goods this is Migo perform good receipt and the vendor sends the invoice later on which corresponds to this flow basically vendor will send the good invoice vendor will send the goods before that and so forth over here sorry vendor will send the goods so as you can see there is a time difference between the time the vendor supplies the goods and between the time uh, the vendor sends the invoice so in other words if we do a posting like this whereby we debit st our stocks here and then credit our vendors let's assume there's no price difference yet so let's keep things simple so I'm not going to have this entry here because let's assume there's no price difference I will explain why there's a price difference later on we have this topic here to discuss about the price difference so I'm not going to discuss it now so if we do this 300 and 300 minus 300 plus 300 okay if we do this here this will not be correct because simply for the reason the when we are we have created a liability uh, for this vendor even before the vendor sends in the invoice okay so this is wrong because the vendor has not invoiced us yet the vendor has not sent us the invoice because there's a time difference they send the goods first after one week or later they will send the invoice so how can we create a, a liability with this vendor when they have not sent us the invoice yet just based on the goods delivery we cannot create a invoice okay that will be very wrong so we need to split this into two stages one is we create a, we create a temporary vendor account okay just to um, uh, sorry and uh, just to create um, create a situation whereby we can understand that based on the values in the temporary vendor account you'll know that the invoices have not been sent for whatever value that is in the temporary account so in other words let me change this to credit a temporary account with 300 credit temporary vendor account with 300 okay so minus 300 so I'm not going to credit the main vendor account okay I'm going to credit the temporary vendor account with uh, 300 so that from this I'll know 
by looking at the value here in the vendor account, temporary vendor account, I'll know that uh, the vendor has not sent the invoice for this three hundred dollars yet. Okay, this is the original idea. Why we need to use a temporary vendor account? So, what is this temporary vendor account? It's also called GRIR clearing account. It's also called GRIR clearing account. GR stands for good receive, IR stands for invoice receive. Okay, the difference between uh, GR, IR, GR, good receive and invoice receive will be posted here. Okay, since the time difference between these two activity until the invoice receive invoice is received, the where the 300 value will be stored in this temporary GR, IR account. Okay, that is the whole purpose. So by looking at this value here, I know that the vendor has not sent the invoice yet for this $300 yet. So that's why it's in the GRIR temporary clearing account, which represents the vendor account temporarily. Okay. When the vendor sends the actual invoice, what will happen is that the temporary vendor account will be zeroized and the value will be moved to the actual vendor account. So what is our actual vendor account? Which is our actual vendor account is let me check. FK03, our vendor account is 40001. Yeah, accounting in full. Our actual vendor account is 40001 account that's why they can account so when the vendor sends the invoice what will happen is that the value will be reversed out from the uh, debit temporary vendor account by 300 and credit actual vendor account 4001 by 300 as well looks good so this and this will cancel this posting will reverse out this temporary GR account, GRIR account, and the actual balance of 300 will be transferred to the vendor account, and no changes to be done on the on the stocks account. So now with these two entries, the double entry is satisfied. This should have been the actual posting here. All right, this should have been actual posting here. If the invoice and the delivery note uh, arrives at the same time, this would have been the actual posting. But since the invoice and delivery note arrives in a different time, DN first and then invoice later. So we have these two entries here. Okay. So this is the purpose of GRIR clearing account. I'm not going to show you how to create it again because I already shown you in the earlier. Uh, good receive, uh, good receive. Uh, what do you call uh, topic? So it will be a repetition if I do that again. Just double click here, come to rules. Just choose debit and credit and valuation class because we are not going to use these two because we need to specify the GL account by the valuation class. If you want to specify a, a standard GL account for all the material postings regardless of the valuation class you can ignore the valuation class but in this case i want to specify a different gl account based on different valuation class so that's why i've chosen that okay this obyc table will contain all the automatic postings for material managements this can also be accessed from here Valuation. Sorry, not here. 
process evaluation account determination and configure automatic processes cancel this good account assignment you will get a obic screen see this obic all right the same thing so this explanation about the gri clearing account simply remember that any value that is greater than 0 that is uh, available in the gri clearing account which is also known as a temporary vendor account uh, explains that that much of value of stocks are not invoiced yet okay so there's one more step where we need to do a gr account grir account maintenance which i'll explain uh, after our invoicing topic on how to actually um, report these balances gr account balances in the balance sheet in different way i'll explain that in detail when we come to this topic here okay for now this is good enough to proceed with other topics